everyone. So in today's video I thought I would do a chit chat get ready with me. Um, I saw, is it Shanexo? I think that's how you say her name. I absolutely love her. But I saw her do, well she didn't do this makeup look but I saw this makeup look in one of her videos. Um, I think it was a, the recent lip swatch video. I would try and insert a picture or something. Um, and I just thought it was really really pretty. Um, but she had winged liner and I'm still working on doing winged liner so I'm going to do like a smokier version of it. Um, it's still going to be quite simple but not as, you know, uneven with winged liner. <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to do is just pop my hair back. Um, 2017 is the year that I'm embracing my afro so I'm still getting used to having to put it back and hair getting in the way and getting in my eyes um, and also I can't stop touching it, it's just amazing. So I'm going to moisturise my face first, um, I'm going to use my normal eczema moisturiser but because recently my skin has just been so dry, I don't know if it's because I've been ill um, but I have been mixing in the Body Shop Vitamin E Overnight Serum and Oil. I know it's an overnight thing but it just works and it feels really nice on my skin so that's what I've been putting in there. Obviously if you have oily skin I wouldn't recommend doing this but I just feel like it's worked for me so far. So I'm going to prime my skin using the Barium Flawless Original Primer. Next I'm going to do a bit of colour correcting, this is the Revolution colour correcting palette. Um, I got this for Christmas and I've literally only really used the pink and the green. But I don't know if it's because of lack of sleep or if it's because I mix race and mix race and dark skin people tend to have a dark eyes so I've had to like keep putting pink on my inner corner just to brighten it up. Next I'm going to use the Natural Collection Colour Foundation, of course it's the only foundation I own so... Next I'm going to take the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer in the shade True Ivory. I'm then going to take the Arborn Prime and Proper Eye Primer. So somehow I have like the tiniest eyelash right in my eye and I cannot get it. And I've now lost it so I have a watery eye. So before we lose any of this base I'm going to set my face using the Rimmel Match Perfection Loose Powder. Okay under my eyes I'm going to set the primer and the concealer over the top of my eyes. And then the rest of my face. I'm then going to take the Revolution Iconic Lights and Contour Pro palette and I'm going to take this cool toned contour shade and just contour my face. I 
I'm then going to take this sleek bronze block which is covered in powder and um, this is in the shade light 100 and it's just a nice neutral kind of bronzer I'm now going to take the Revolution Baked Blush in the shade Hard Day. This is like my new favourite blush because it's just not too much and it's like the perfect colour for my skin tone. Like it doesn't show up too much and it just looks beautiful. Okay, so now I'm just going to swipe away all that powder. I'm then going to go back to the um, Iconic Lights and Pro palette and I'm going to take this highlight shade, it's just next to the yellow powder So I'm now going to set my face using the Maybelline Makeup Locking Setting Spray So before I move on to the eyes, I'm just going to fix my brows a little bit and curl my eyelashes. Do I like that? Yeah. So I've zoomed you in a little bit, just so you can see my eyes a little bit better. Um, so I'm going to use the Revolution Ultra Eyeshadow Palette in Flawless 2. And I'm going to take the shade, where is it? Here, is it that one? Yeah, that one called Outsmart. It's just like a muted pink. And it will just give a little bit of definition. Tap off all that axe. Okay, so now that that is done, I'm going to take the W7 Beat It palette. This was a Christmas present from one of my friends, and I friggin' love it. I'm going to take the glittery colour just there, and it is called the Full Monty. Um, and I'm going to take a flat eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to put that all over my eyelid. Okay, so I'm now going to use the... Maybelline the Nudes palette and I'm going to take the black from it because it is like the blackest black that I have out of all my eyeshadows I'm just going to wipe some of that product off so I can just blend it and smoke it out a bit more. I'm then going to take this, hang on, this colour here and pop that on my inner corners. This eye is watering so badly. I'm then going to complete my eyes with the Rimmel London Wonderful Lashes Mascara. Take that massive blob off the end of there because that is not going to go on my nose. Okay, my eyes gone really red. 
Is that supposed to happen? That does not look good. Can you see that? Why has my eye gone that red? That is not supposed to happen. Okay. Okay. Well, I can still see for the time being, so we'll just see what happens. So for lips, I'm going to use the Revlon Matte Balm um, Lip Crayon thing in the shade Sultry. wrong with me. <laughs> Alright, I can't sing. <laughs>